Democrats hammering away at the president with a common theme in recent days. President Trump responding to all this tweeting the Democrats' new and pathetically untrue soundbite is that we are in a constitutional crisis. But we've had a giant scam perpetrated upon our nation, a witch hunt, a treasonous hoax. Governor John Sununu, former White House Chief of Staff to President George H.W. Bush. How you doing, sir? And welcome to, welcome to Monday, all right? Constitutional crisis seemed to be the phrase of the day. Go ahead and react to that. Yeah, there's two perspectives on this issue of, of constitutional, so-called constitutional crisis. One is the factual basis of it, and, and it's really the most important part. What Nadler and the Democrats wanted Barr to do was to break the law and send them parts of the redacted uh, Mueller report that are against the law for Barr to send to them. And they are using the threat of contempt to try and blackmail them into sending something that would break the law. You have to be really dumb. Uh, Nadler and Pelosi have to be really dumb if they think any serious federal court will support uh, a contempt effort uh, to get at the attorney general based on urging him to break the law. No federal court is going to force him to break the law. But there's a political side to this. And I think the president and the Republicans are, are making a mistake if they think the right response to this phony con, uh, constitutional crisis call is to just talk about the economy. I think they should be focusing on the fact that the Democrats are trying to make somebody break the law. The American public understands that much more than they do just uh, uh, saying that, that the Democrats are just trying to raise the level of noise. You were listening to Captain Harris' report there a moment ago, right? What Lindsey Graham yes. is up to. What, what, what do you yeah. think, what do you think would, is behind the curtain here, Governor? Well, I think what's behind the curtain is, is starting with the FISA uh, court uh, 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 documentation that was sent there is that, that the uh, FBI really was politically motivated, and there are people there guilty of, of violations of the guidelines to the FISA court. And there are some folks that say that that's actually breaking the law and, and is a serious uh, uh, breaking of the law. So I think there are people that are in real trouble, and I think Graham and, and Grassley uh, uh, and others in the Republican side are going to pursue this very, very intensely. Yeah. Do you think when Bill Barr took this job that he thought he could become the target, as he has? Oh, I think Bill Barr has been around Washington long enough uh, to know that, that uh, uh, he better take advantage of his thick skin uh, in this job. Bill Barr is smart. Bill Barr has been around a long time. He's got the Democrats scared to death. That's why they're doing this to him. They're trying to undermine him early uh, before he starts pursuing uh, all the things that he agreed to pursue uh, uh, during his confirmation. Oh, that's hearings. very interesting. Do you see the piece in the New York Times on Friday before the weekend? I well, never read the New York Times. <laughs> well, essentially what it said was the, the White House strategy is to force Democrats to go ahead and pursue the impeachment issue. It kind of goes back to the point you were making a moment ago. Um, the, the, the headline is dare to impeach. Now, if you're in the political yeah, the, side of, you know, President Trump's thinking here for the next year and a half, w w would that be a smart strategy to pursue? No one is not going to go anywhere in the Senate, given the current composition of Congress. I think Nancy Pelosi knows it's not going to go anywhere. I think she knows it's not a smart political effort. But, but contrary to a lot of Republicans, I also don't think it's smart for Republicans to continue to taunt it. Uh, I think there are important issues for Republicans to use their rhetoric time in the media uh, to focus on. One is certainly the economy, but I think uh, uh, the whole agenda that they've tried to lay out of, of trying to address constructively the health care issue, trying to deal with infrastructure, and I think the president's aggressive moves with China uh, in trying to okay. fix a multi-decade problem that we have. I would just add to that, this, the strategy comes a little fuller when you consider that the contempt vote for Bill Barr is not even on the schedule. It has been punted at least a month down the road and possibly beyond. Just last comment on that and got to roll. I think the contempt vote would be dumber than the impeachment. Wow. How come? 
because they're trying to put him in under contempt charges for, for not breaking the law. And when you start looking at the detail of that, with the, with the visibility that a, a effort in Congress to get a contempt vote would be, the public would see that all the Democrats are trying to do is make Barr break the law. And nobody in the American public supports having Congress blackmail somebody into breaking the law. Really interesting stuff. Thank you, Governor. Have a great day, okay? John Sununu, Mondays with the Governor. Thank you, sir.